Hello everyone, it is Gaming on Linux Guide. Today is a Linux tips and tricks, though it is related to a video game, of course. So, this particular game is the absolutely wonderful title of RimWorld, which is right there. And one of its most popular features is that it has a very extensive workshop full of delicious mods that will change your game up in a million different ways such as this gastronomy mod all about cooking and other cool stuff well mostly mostly it's just cooking and uh they will order food and you can have like a restaurant but the best way to play these games and i'll just unsubscribe from all my mods is by using the rimpy mod manager and it's a little bit of a, you know, there aren't really any good install instructions on Linux. So I decided that I would happily make a short video on how to install it. So first of all, I'm just going to pick this gastronomy mod as, well, maybe something without any, um, you know, necessary requirements. Well, all right, let's get this one about animals. Get that one, because that's a prerequisite, and get this. Alrighty, so there we go. Now, we are going to go get RimPy first. So, first of all, just search RimPy. And of course, the best place to get it is actually Steam page, because it's the most reliable source of finding the mod manager. Then right here, we've got a Linux link. And you'll get a tarball, also known as a .tar.gz. Then we're going to save it. We're going to download it anyway. And then we are going to download it. So it is now downloading. I have semi-decent American internet. So it is downloading very quickly. There we go. And I'll bring it over to this screen. Come on, Rimpy. There we go. So I'm going to extract the files. So right there. And it's extracting, which doesn't take too long, thankfully. Oh, but it went to my other screen. All right, so now we have this folder. And if you notice, when you go in there, I mean, there's the executable of qt process or web engine process and if you double click that nothing happens so what you want to do first is you want to open a terminal and well there are one or two things you can do you can either open a terminal which most flavor like all flavors of linux this will work on and you can go to desktop like rimpy linux you can copy that and do cd and then right click paste and it will change that to as your default you know um, folder you're working in or you can simply right click it depending upon your distro like my like awesome MX Linux which I personally prefer and then you can say open a terminal here and it will open the terminal with that as the default folder it's worth looking at so Next thing you want to do is you've got to make sure that the scripts in there are executable. So you want to type ch mod and then put a space plus x. And now here's a really important part dot forward slash uppercase r for rim. And then the p in pi is uppercase as well. And then you'll get nothing, but that's completely okay because that means it worked. It would yell at you otherwise. Then what you can do is you can do dot forward slash rim pi to load it. And look, there we go. And then you can load these. But let's say, hey, that's really annoying. I don't want to have to use the terminal every time. Well, once you get that ch mod, um, once you set it as an executable, uh, pretty much every distro has a launcher 
options. We're going to do RimPy mod manager. And our command will be dot forge slash RimPy because this will just like run it sort of like in a terminal. And then we are going to select RimPy as the working directory. Create. Again, it went on my other screen. Here we go. And then if you just double click it, there you go. Now you've set up RimPy. And I'll just show you how to use RimPy. So first of all, uh, usually RimPy will find your game folder, your config folder. I'm sorry, your game folder, your Steam folder, and your local mods folder. But it might have trouble with your config folder. So where I found mine, again on MX Linux, it might be slightly different for you would be you want to go up to your you know main um, folder and show hidden folders and then you want to go to dot local share and then you want to go to where is it it's right oh I just had it my mind is blanking unfortunately Well, now I feel silly because it's it's right up there already because I already found it. Uh, so you go to, you know, dot config. Also make sure to, you know, right click um, show hidden files because otherwise it won't show this. So config. And now we're in the config folder. And then we want to go to Unity because Unity is the engine it is programmed in. Unity. And then you find Ludian, RimWorld, config. And then you click choose. All right, then you can just click here. And one of the important parts about using RimPy is that's got an auto sorting function. And there we go. Although it told, and also it told me, hey, I think you might need another um, another piece of mod to make all this work. So I'm going to open this back up. Subscribed items because this apparently needs the harmony thing. No, apparently it doesn't. Sometimes it'll give you an error when you don't actually need it. And it'll sort, sort, click OK. It'll sort. It already sorted because it's very similar to what I already did because you need the framework and then the thing that uses the framework. Then you click save and it'll save it to your modsconfig.xml. And then you click run. And the game will start. Oh, there it goes. You can always tell the game is starting on my desktop because it gets a weird, like, double taskbar. And then the game will load, which may take, thankfully, not too long because I've only got two mods here as sort of an example. But if you've got more mods, then you're going to have to wait a while. I know that if you get like a mod pack, which I enjoy, um, which has like 457 mods, I can take about 20, 25 minutes to load. So be prepared. Mods, as you can see, oh, it does depend on Harmony, but as you can see, they're both checked. So if you want to use these mods, make sure you get the Harmony mod too which you can probably click on this and it'll take you somewhere to it, probably the Steam page. And that is it. That's how you get RimPy working in Linux. I hope this was helpful. As always, please subscribe. It helps out my channel as well as shows it to people who are also looking for Linux gaming content as well as give it a like if you liked it. And if you didn't like it, give it a dislike and you know tell me why I'm always trying to improve. Thank you and have a wonderful day.